Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Brockton Loaded here. I'm just gonna tell you about something that I figured out the hard way. And if it'll save anybody out there money and time and ammo and losses in competition or I would hope this wouldn't you know, be the difference between saving a life or not. But uh, if it'll help somebody out there, then whatever, it was worth it. But here's the deal. So this is my carry gun, 19, or uh, uh, Glock 19, sorry. Nothing in there. All right. This is my Glock 17. All right, these are, this is what I use for competition. And a lot of target shooting, stuff like that, any kind of drills that I ever run, I pretty much run this. And then I, I do shoot with this a lot uh, too, but this is my carry gun. They're very, very similar other than the trigger guard undercut and stippling and stuff like that. I do have an aftermarket trigger OC customs in this one, barrel, light, stuff like that, which some of that's going to be translating over here soon. But these are the sights that I have. These are, let's see, Trigicon HDs with an orange front sight. And a U in the back. So we'll see if I can get it to... Probably won't, but... Anyway. So that's what... This is what I use for competition. These sights are freaking awesome. The only gripe I have is how sharp these edges are. Right? Um, from my understanding, they're not... Uh, see, it's catching my finger. Daggum. It, it'll actually cut you. Like, it'll... it'll scrape my arm up and I'll be bleeding during a competition because of how sharp they are. So I, that's my only gripe, but I think I may have just gotten one that wasn't filed down or something odd because people have said theirs aren't like that. So anyway, uh, they're the notch and post style. So obviously you're putting the front sight between the rear sight and I love them. They're at night. Let's see if I can get it to Okay, at night, that actually worked pretty well. You have a photoluminescent orange with a tritium dot in the middle. And then you have, let's see if I can even, there you go. So you have three dots. I love these sights. So I use this in competition, and I'm really, really good with these sights, you know, for my skill set or whatever. I'm not really, really good in general, but uh, yeah, love them. Here's my issue is that these are my Glock 19 sights. They are XS big dots, big dots. They're the 24-7 model, right? So you basically put the golf ball on the tee. The back is tritium as well, so let me give you an idea about these. There you go. They work very, very well too. The issue that I'm having is that when I shoot this gun a lot, I get good with this gun. It's not the gun, it's the sights. Then I pick up this gun and I shoot like this <laughs> because I'm used to the golf ball on the post, not not the uh, blade. So this hurts my competition. Well, then I go shoot this one to get better at competition. And guess what? I pick this gun up and I start nose diving it. Uh, so I can't do that. I'm tired of fighting it. Uh, I can't get proficient or I can't get good with both of these weapons simultaneously. It's just like Something about, and, and I can, don't get me wrong, it takes me just longer to adapt to one or the other. So I'm making this video just to show you guys something that I've learned that's going to end up costing me money because I'm getting rid of these. I like them, but they're really not not that great with them, like in a competition setting. Um, there's too much, there's a little bit too much room for the side to side and stuff like that. I mean... They're more like combat type sights. So, again, I like them. I love them for carry. This rear 
I carry appendix and this rear doesn't, I mean, it's, I don't even know it's there. So I'm trying to find something that isn't as sharp as my uh, Trijicon HDs. Um, but yeah, so that was a, about a hundred dollar lesson that I'm learning. And unfortunately it's going to cost me probably, I guess a hundred bucks to, to learn it. So if you guys are thinking about sites and you have something similar, I would actually say that I don't know this for a fact. I haven't tested it, but if you do notch and style and notch and uh, notch and post and notch and post, then I would think that it would be a lot easier to translate over. But just the, the stacking them on top and all that, you just can't ever keep the same speed with both weapons. So hopefully this helps somebody out there. If you got any questions about the sights in particular, or you're interested in picking them up, uh, maybe a little while because I might have to uh, save a little money to buy some new Ameriglos or I, I want the front sight like this, but not that sharpness of the back. But anyway... If you're interested in the sites or whatever, I may just give them away to somebody. But anyway, let me know down below, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching.